in the early days of the internet, you couldn't stream movies or summon Thai food to your doorstep. But if you were interested in text-based news about upcoming physics lectures, it was a great time to be alive. Holy moly. Shower. It's an emergency. Fine, come in. Dad. I thought you had to use the bathroom. At 723 in the morning? Why do I print out schedules if you're not going to read them? Tell me what you want. What are we doing next weekend? This ain't sounding like an emergency. It is. Stephen Hawking is giving a lecture and I really need to go. Can we talk about this one my other shower? Pick up the pace. According to the schedule that you don't read, I'm due in there in six minutes. So can we go? I don't know. Go take a shower. I still have two minutes and 15 seconds. Let's nail this down. Where's the lecture? And if the answer's Dallas, we're not going. Good news, it's not Dallas. Where? Pasadena, California. California? It's a lot further than Dallas. 1,232 miles further as the crow flies. But kudos to you for being up on your geography. There's no way we're going to California. If Stephen Hawking can make it there in a wheelchair, I'm sure we can manage. Sheldon, airplane tickets are expensive. Hotels are expensive. We can't afford it. But his health is fragile. This might be my only chance to ever see him in person. I'm sorry, buddy. I would like to discuss this further, but I only have 22 seconds to be in the shower and button slow me down. This is the moment we lost that game. But one bad play doesn't mean you give up. We had plenty of time to turn around, but y'all decided it was over. I don't want to ever see that happen again. Next time something seems out of your reach, you do not quit. You just dig deeper. Does that mean if I find an affordable flight to California, we can go? 